An introduction to erosion. Erosion is the wearing away of rocks and soil, including whilst they are being transported. There are four erosive processes, the first being hydraulic action. Take this seaside cliff with waves on the surface of the sea. When the wind blows harder, the waves increase in size and height, crashing towards a cliff face, the waves hitting the cliff with great force, modelled like being hit with a boxing glove, the same as hammers bashing away the rock, eroding the rock. It is not only water that hits a cliff face, because air, trapped as bubbles, carried in the water, also hits the rocks, also causing erosion. This force of the moving water, combined with the bubbles of air it carries, being called hydraulic action, which leads to erosion. Our second erosive process is abrasion, or the rubbing together of rocks, which also leads to erosion. Take this river or seabed, the water flowing across it, the water carrying sediment within it. If we study this single grain of rock, it moves along with the current, bouncing off the riverbed. At the point where the grain hits the riverbed, here, it's as though the riverbed has been hit with a force, and erosion happens, the grain wearing away the riverbed, leaving a hole on broken pieces of bedrock. Over time, as more current carries sediment along with it, repeated grains hit the riverbed, further eroding the bedrock, by the force of the grains rubbing and wearing away the rock. So we have the force of the flowing water, and the combined force of the air bubbles, giving us the hydraulic action processes, but we now also have the abrasion of the sediment carried within the water, resulting in not just some erosion, but a lot more erosion occurring. Our third erosive process is attrition. In our flowing water, let's study this single grain of sediment. As the water flows along, much sediment is also carried along, so it means that our fast-moving single grain will also flow past slower-moving grains, but they may collide at this point the force during collision, weakening and fracturing one or both of the grains, the broken grain falling apart and carried on downstream, with sections of it causing further attrition and also more abrasion too. The same happens in the winds of deserts, with large angular grains hit by the individual grains of sand and a sandstorm, every impact upon the larger grain weakening the grain, until over time the sand grains erode the larger grain wearing it down as more fragments are knocked off and themselves causing further attrition. Which we see at the start as having large angular grains and pieces of rock, these undergoing erosion, forming smaller and more rounded grains. Wow! Our fourth erosive process is solution. Sea water and many rivers are weakly acidic, and if we take an alkaline rock, such as this soft limestone called chalk, the alkaline rock, when placed in the acidic seawater, will corrode away until none is left. That's amazing! The four erosive processes of hydraulic action, abrasion, attrition and solution. Do watch our video about how erosion links with the mechanisms of how rocks and soils can be transported. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!